All right, y'all needed a video to see what's going on with this car. So I know a lot of people have been wondering what condition is the body in. You can see that there are places where, yeah, there's some surface rust going on on the body. It's been repainted at one time or another. And I know, you know, people want to see what does the engine compartment look like? Well, here it is. So this is the original 289. No, it's not a Ford engine. If you can see down here on the engine boss, you can see there it is an L114. It's not the P code. So this differentiates it that it was built as a Studebaker engine. So it's the original 289. You can see it has the power steering. It has the power brake unit. Here you can see the body tag. It is built, it's a 58L, which is the four-door sedan, or well, 58L is Pontiac, or not Pontiac, my bad, the Packard indication, and Y8 being the four-door sedan, and this is the 512th body to have come down the assembly line, not the 512th vehicle. Uh, the hood itself is made of fiberglass, as well as the, the front fascia pieces here. It's got the nice big Dagmars on it. You can see, yeah, it's got some surface rust in spots. Uh, let's see if you can, you can kind of see maybe a little bit underneath here. It does have quite a bit of the original factory undercoating. It's not too bad, but I know you're wondering about the floorboard. So hopefully this doesn't make you too dizzy. This is a floorboard where water's been seeping in and you can see that, yeah, you can see some ground there. They do sell floor panels. The other part I wanted to show you was here in the back that if you look from the wheel well, I don't know if you can see in there or not, that there is daylight coming through right in here. You can see my finger right there, maybe. Yeah, you can see my finger right there. Um, so the interior, I don't know what y'all want for an interior. It's nothing perfect. It does have some mildew going on in here just because of water penetration from the tarp blowing off on this and it being the pacific northwest where it just rains too damn much so i don't recall the other side of the floorboard being as bad but this is what it looks like it's it's fair is my best way of doing it show you door panels and let's go to the other side. Oh, and the trunk. So there has been some water in here, but it's not rotted through. Thankfully, false spring is coming, so this will all dry out. It's not rotted out. It's just wet, like everything in here. Um, so this side, you can see, does have like the little bits of, of rust and whatnot, but it's not nasty cancer. So here's the door panel on this side and door panel on this side so i don't know if this saves you any time from uh, asking inane questions or pipe dream or what have you this is it this is the 58 packer no it is not worth a lot of money nor will it ever be worth a lot of money so just remember that old cars are a very very expensive hobby